Hello my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another Rexia packed episode of Chris the Butcher. I'm friends. And today, well it's this morning, you'll be watching it, well, whenever you're fucking watching it to be honest with it. Uh, as you can see behind me, there's an absolute array of shit going on. Still got that tiger bread, I haven't used it yet. I've got some bread which I'm not using in this video. Uh, two pounds of the cast iron, I've got my fill two pint, all that pan was fucking hot. Uh, I've got my, my cloth. Miss Samurai, which I don't need just yet. But I've got, I've been Aldi, right? And it's the first time I've been in Aldi for a, a good few months. And I've yet again remembered why I don't go in Aldi. Because it is horrendous. It's horrendous. The car park's small, awkward. There's a wagon on it. You can't fucking move in. You can't move out. You can't go forward. You can't reverse. And that's the car park. In Aldi itself, is fucking worse. There's people, it's just the organisation is absolutely non-existent. People with a trolley, like that. Oh, I'm going to look at that. I'll move my trolley that way and I'll leave like that. It's like, fuck off. And that's not just one person, that's every person. It's just a nightmare. So I, I went in Audi to have a look round, see if there's anything worth review. I was in there for 15 minutes and it was just hell and I just couldn't wait to get out. So I, I, didn't, I didn't get anything I wanted to get. I just had a run round quick, saw a few things and I found some potato waffles, as you can see there. Aldi. Some free range, large free range eggs. Again, Aldi. And some smoked back bacon. Aldi. Uh, we've got we've got ructions going on in the other room as well. Kids fucking like stir crazy. Fucking driving us mutts. So yeah. I'm just gonna do a basic Aldi breakfast. The longest thing to cook here is the potato waffles. Four seasons, 12 potato. What the fuck's a potato? <laughs> 12 potato waffles. Uh, cooked from frozen in six minutes. I'm doing them in the oven. They're going to take 18 minutes. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oven, place one layer of frozen waffles on a baking tray on the middle shelf of the preheated oven for the time specified or until golden brown. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's have a look at them. I love potato waffles. I have to, I don't have them very often because they're not very fucking good for me. But Kieran, Connor, not Kieran, Connor wants the same breakfast as me. As usual. There we are, one, two. <laughs> Look, they're only do you know what? I could have sworn potato waffles were fucking bigger than that in the past. Do you know what I mean? Fuck it up. Lou's, Lou can't keep a fucking god shut, can she? She knows I'm from the filming. There we go. It's like, it's, it's real life, isn't it? You know what I mean? I'm in the kitchen of the house. Should I cook them all? Kieran can have some, can't he? I'm sure Lou might have one, but I don't know. She's just had a bacon butter. It says in a layer. I can't really get them in a layer, can I? There's only two left. I can't, let's do that. Right, there we go. Potato waffles going in the oven for uh, 18 to 20 minutes. Or golden brown, obviously. So the potato waffles are very nearly done. And uh, we're going with the Aldi Fresh Cure Smoked Back Bacon. 10 rashers, I think they're £1.69. I'm going to cook all lot because it's for me and Kieran, uh, Connor again. I get them mixed up all the time. As like I said before, that's Aldi. 10 Smoked Back Bacon rashers with added water. As we know, we love added water. It's so, alright, let's get them in the cast iron pan. I've uh, dropped a little bit of uh, rapeseed oil in there and uh, let's get these fuckers fried up. Right, let's get this bacon fried off. It's very thin this bacon I've noticed. It's not going to take long to cook at all. 
I'm going to do it in a couple of batches because I don't want to boil it, I want to fry it. So we'll do three at a time, eh? Play it safe. See that there? I'll just move that there and the bacon ripped. That is how thin this bacon is. That's why it was £1.69, I suppose. Cheapest chips. Right, let's get this bacon fried. Hey, I know I've skipped a couple of steps there because, uh, listen, it, it, it was just pandemonium. Kids were playing up and I couldn't really feel much. So, there is the finished product. I have got five potato waffles. I have got five slices of that smoked back bacon, which, let's be honest, is a bit disappointing. It was very thin and it broke up and it looks a bit raggy. So, there we go. We've got two fried eggs. Them are them. The uh, six British free range eggs from Aldi. And uh, what does egg need? Bit of pepper. So let's get a bit of ground bit of black pepper on there. Perfect. My, my quick, easy Aldi breakfast is done. The only thing left now is to slide some of that down with gizzard. Here we go. Let's try the egg. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, cooked to perfection, that egg. Get some of that potato waffle. Dip it in the egg. Down the gizzard. Mm. I was standing back from camera, so I'm not uh, slurping down the microphone. You know, I'll give you a break at some point. Bacon. Kira's has come down for round 10. Mm. That. The bacon tastes good, but I'm a bit disappointed how thin it was. And it kind of broke up as well. You saw it as I were. After I've moved it with my finger in the pan and my finger ripped it. That is how thin that bacon was. But, tastes like smoked bacon. I'm, I'm happy with that. Mmm. Them eggs are done to absolute fucking perfection. Right, anyway, let's finish this video off so I can sit down in the living room, put the telly on, put my feet up, and slide a load of that egg down my neck gizzard, and then I'll give Lou a kiss. And then I'll tell her I've had egg. And then she'll kick me in the nuts. So that is the end of my quick Aldi breakfast. It worked spectacular. It's there uh, still to see how I can get it up to the camera for you. Without tipping on the floor. Okay now, that was nearly tragic. <laughs> what I tasted of that, that was superb. I will finish it off very shortly. But yeah, I liked it. If you like this, press like. Comment. Itchy nose. Uh, what about to? Comment. Oh, share it on your social media. And subscribe. I'll become a family member of that. Hashtag Team CTB, where I, listen, I do apologise for the video today because it has been absolutely fucking bedlam. Absolutely bedlam. Kids go back to school tomorrow. Me and Luke can't wait because we need a break from them. Because not, because the tandem are off each other. The Tasmanian devil with a bigger Tasmanian devil for the last three days. Connor's just been as fucking bad. He's only short now because he's sliding some of that down his fucking gizzard. Anyway. I fucking love you.